Okay, guys. Um, this is for this particular message is for a past partner. I um. got a message that came out for to do with your past situation past situation and uh, the connection that you were in in the past that um may have been a lesson or a karmic lesson or an ungodly soul tie connection or um a lustful connection or but it's just to do with your past partner and what i got from here overall energy is ace of wands um this connection could have taught you and uh brought you into your inspiration um <clears throat> you're looking at it now as an inspiration as well <clears throat> then we go on um four of swords this person or could be uh, all signs are out here, actually. And so, um, then you move on to four of swords healing. This, these particular uh, counterparts or uh, people that's vibrating on this particular uh, elevation or vibration is healing from this situation that they were in. And while they're healing they're in isolation they're in a five of pentacles isolation you move on they're in a, a queen of pentacles uh focusing on their pentacles uh trying to get comfortable with their uh with their career or business or their financial stability they're working on their create cre creativity Queen of Wands, uh, they're sitting in a space of focusing on their and trying to get comfortable in their financial stability. Um, and they're also working on their creativity, Queen of Wands. Um, they are sitting in a space of ending any swords, anything that no longer serve them. Uh, any toxic situations, any people that's not being for them um, could be 10 people or whatever, but it's 10 things that they are ending to do with the swords and being betrayed or being stuck in their back. Also, you move on. Uh, the Empress and Queens, the Empress and Queens and King is out here. In this um, particular uh, message here, uh, the Empress, uh, Angel of Abundance, uh, they're putting an end to, you know, the swords. They're moving on to their abundance. They're looking, looking uh, for brighter days to come. And then a death comes and they're going through transformation as well. It could be. Uh, the Divine Masculine or the Divine Femme that's uh, put a death to the swords. They're focusing on their abundance and they're going through transformation. As they're going through their transformation and they're putting a death to things. They're putting a death to drama that's been in their, in, that was in the past or whatever in their, um, in this particular connection that they were in. They also feel that that was a test that they went through, that they were going through in that particular uh, uh, connection. They also, Seven of Cups choices. They're putting a death to the, if they were dealing with someone that uh Felt that they had the need to have choices. They're not going to deal with those people anymore either. You know, if it was a counterpart. Whoever this past partner was, were. You know, they know that this person had choices. 
they know that this person was doing things. They're ending all of that. They won't uh, deal with another partner that is coming with drama, with that's trying to show them tests, five of ones that have choices, and then bam, again I state they won't deal. They have learned their lessons, uh, and a tower moment is coming when the after the tower moment again up you know in the message before it's about them focusing on their financial stability their creativity their pinnacles they want to get in nine of pinnacles and comfort with their financial stability and that's where they're at right now they they consider this connection that they were in in the past as an inspiration over our energy uh and also they have a partner that is trying to offer them a cup of commitment and ten of cups they have a partner that's coming in or god is working to bring together could be a water sign could be a water sign um that god is bringing together here and so guys that's all i have if you don't mind if you would like and subscribe to my channel i would appreciate it thank you